Alright, so hello everyone, my name is TRG and I'm here to play um, Wuthering Waves. As you can see here, I'm planning to um, not a treasure hunt for now, but rather uh, lit up all of the beacons first. Yeah, that is my goal for now. Lit up all the beacons. So without further ado, let's play. Alright, this is the gameplay. My next target to lead up is this one or that one. Nah, make it this one. To pass travel here to here. Lead up all the beacons. Farming, oh, um, I'm also farming some echoes and transmitting appear before me. Overwatch. Sounds come forth. Appear before me. We'll leave the tap. Leave me alone. Da -da 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 -da. Yes, ma. What's in here? Some sort of dragon, perhaps? That one is me. The end has come. Bully, <laughs> 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 let's race. Don't be funny. I choose you.
wait for a minute. All right, I'm back. So, hmm. Oh, yeah. What the fuck? this one mm -hmm. get all of those shits up for me. Alright then Alright Let's go Alright we already light all that shit There's nothing here anymore Then this one Let's light this one We're just only lighting on lighting all the beacons.
end has come. Later, later. Let's light all of the beacons. It's all been light up. Then this one. Ah, first let's go here. Light all the beacons here. Oh, what? Not light the beacons here. Okay. What the heck? Got them stamina, bro. This one. <laughs> the power. A chair with daunting aura. The power is here. <laughs>
and let's go here. Three of them is here. Now we can go here then up upper moon.
No hesitation. Here we go again. Leave me alone. Here, Verity shines. No one picks on Unkar's friends. Dummy funny? I choose you.
Por delícia. Okay. Transmitting frequency. Here we go again! Don't be funny. I choose you. Into Wooly's belly you go! Ha, ha, you're it! Leave? Me? Alone!
Okay. First aid. Huh. Verity shines. Here we go again. Tell me funny. I choose you. Come forth, the hour is upon us. An oversight. Leave? Me? Alone! Where the hell are you stuck? for me. I actually don't know where the hell is it. Let me do my own job, please.
Alright, let's do this. Expected discovery. All right. Oh. You don't look like soldiers. Why are you here? The frontliners are right up ahead. I am Yang Yang, an outrider of the Midnight Rangers. 
A missing person. Juyan. The one you're looking for. Is he an average person? Not a resonator, I suppose. Yes. Have you seen him? Is he all right? I met him once. He's not officially enlisted, but he seemed determined to join us. He's been secretly following our troops since last year. I think a quartermaster of the rear guards escorted him away, so if he's not in the city, he must be in the rear guards camp. He can't be anywhere else. The actual front lines are right up ahead, and we the Midnight Rangers would never allow non-servicemen to approach and risk getting killed. Thank you. Now if you're heading that way, I have a request for you, my outrider comrade. On your way there, you should run into two detection beacons. They just went offline. Could you go check on them? Sure, we will. Great. I'll send the coordinates to your terminal. Is that the beacon? Hmm. Hmm. They don't look like soldiers. Greetings. What might interest- Oh, uh, we, uh, nothing really. You see, we're just on our way south to the city. Excuse me, about this- Run, everyone! I- I can't move. So hungry. Please don't arrest us! We really had no choice! What happened? Do you need help? The battles are getting real bad up north, and we couldn't live there anymore. Figured we have to go back to the city. We ain't eaten in ages, and we're broke. Some of us can barely move, cause we're so damn hungry. Then we found some expensive-looking stuff here. Now that the military's out there fighting and nobody's really using these things, we thought it might get us- A, a damage detection beacon might result in a sudden TD invasion from the direction it covers. I'll wait for a minute. All right. Our frontline troops would face attacks from both sides. Have you thought about the consequences? God, we ain't got the time for that. If we don't steal, we'd starve to death before the tacit discords kill us. You shouldn't be stealing public property. Please, there's still some distance from here to Jinjo City. Here, you can have my flatbreads. Oh, and here's some money. This should be enough for you to reach the city. You're giving us all of these? Thank you, thank you. Hey, you! Come over and say thank you before you eat! It was nothing. Master once told me, the sage takes care of all men and abandons none. Watch out!
Why did you attack us? You're not feeding us all with your bread and pennies. Hand over your goods and grub, or face the consequences. We ain't messing with no kids, but don't test our patience. Just do as you're told. Don't make it tough on yourselves, or you'll be lucky. We're begging you, stop! We surrender! Take us in! Why did you attack us when I already gave you food and funds? Do you have other mouths to feed, aside from what we see here? Hmm, they seem trained. Uh, of course we're ordinary people. We, we, just, we just joined the Exiles recently. We've done some wrongs. I tried to run from the patrollers and left the city, but <laughs> dang! Didn't know the battles up north were so crazy. Oh, you then we ran out of food and cash halfway. So we turned to thieving. We ain't got the balls to rob the army, but with stuff just sitting around. Well, hey, since you're being so generous, how about you throw a little extra cash our way? There's a bunch of us, so- No, wait. What I gave them was more than enough for them to make it to Jinjo. I used to travel alone when I left my master. Hey, what's wrong with you, girl? Pain comes with coveting. He who knows he has enough. If you don't understand, girl, you don't make money very easily at a time like this. If we can't find jobs in the city- I came from a seclusive place, learning the ways of the world from scratch. If you really can't find any job in the city, Come to Liu Xian Tea House and ask for Jan Xin. I will gladly- <laughs> Hurry, move, let's get out of here. I'm not listening- No, I wasn't trying to- Wait. Ugh, quite the sharp eye. Hmm. Is this the only detection be- Heck yeah. The first one we were trying to steal and you bumped right into it. Really? Then why does that one over there seem broken too? That, that ain't got nothing to do with us. It's been that way for ages. Plus, we ain't ever reaching it with all those thorns. I see. You may leave. The military's base is not far from here. Shall we fix? The thorns are blocking our path. Hmm, weird. We'll have to clear them before we can reach the beacon. Oh, please be careful. They look sharp. Hmm, maybe we can find something nearby to help us deal with them. Tianxing, are you all right? This is my first time on a battlefield. It feels so different here. I know another shipment of supplies has just arrived. I've confirmed it, but it's not nearly enough. We must reach out to the city again and demand more supplies immediately. But the approval process is going to... Tell them it's an emergency. We are working around the clock here. 
Any delay could mean the end of our defense. Do they not comprehend? Here's a list of what we need. I'll talk to them if you can't make them listen. Now go, go, go! Move, move! What is it? Why are we still not done distributing the- You new here? Are you backups too? Wait, you don't look like one of us. I am Yang Yang, an outrider of the Midnight Rangers. Excuse me, one moment please. Careful! This chest holds vital medical supplies. If the wounded return and find no medicine, it's on you. Handled with care and precision. An outrider. So, you were part of the backup force, right? Now, I've got wounded soldiers coming soon, and you're just in time to help. Oh, sorry. Have to answer this. Yes? What is it? An overclocked resonator. Understood. I'll be there immediately. I'm sorry. Um, c the wounded soldiers are being sent back from the front lines. We need someone to escort them to the medics, but I've got to deal with the overclocked resonator now. What exactly do you need us to do? Just make sure they are safe. The medics will take care of their wounds. Thank you. Oh, wait. It's so busy here. It looks like they don't even have the time to catch their breath. Supplies, medical care, equipment maintenance. Personnel management and logistics. They must carefully manage these matters to provide vital support for our fighters. So this is what a real war looks like. <sighs> I had no idea it could get this bad. Most people would never have the chance to witness any of this. It's natural for you not to know. I think this is exactly what our military strives for. To ensure peace and safety for our citizens. It's a sacrifice made so others don't have to live in fear. <sighs> Are you all right? Uh, I'm okay. I'm just... <sighs> Just a little... Oh, it's okay, I'm... I'll go find a medic. Like I said, it's not... Please calm down. Your wound is... That's barely a scratch! You can't... That's not bravado! My wounds can close on their own. It's my resonance ability. The medics should go take care of other people in need. Stop squirming, will you? We're here because you need our help. Calm down and stay. Please hold him still for me. Sure. Thank you for your assistance. You must be tired. They look badly injured. Don't worry. They've received proper treatment now. They'll recover in time. Thanks to General Jian, we've seen a significant drop in the number of casualties. I've heard from veterans that soldiers used to be ordinary people, not resonators. Oh. The battles were brutal even back then, with the stench of blood lingering through the rain. But things have improved. Each injury represents countless tacit discords eliminated by our brave soldiers. Resonators in the Midnight Rangers are incredible warriors. Those who have to retreat from injury must have already taken out hundreds of enemies. They are the ones keeping our people safe. What I've been doing is not worth mentioning compared to them. Please don't put it like that. Without your help, we couldn't have helped so many wounded soldiers in such a short time. Now that they're all safe, you should go and take care of your own issues. Thank you. May I ask where the Quartermaster is? The Quartermaster isn't here. He's on the floor above, directing munitions distribution. Just take that lift and you should find him there. Rover, where are we going next? Here are some recipes for dietary supplements from my sect. They might help the wounded recover sooner. Oh, great. You have my thanks.
Have you confirmed the inventory? What about a spare list? Sort out the consumables as soon as possible and check our communication lines while you're at it. You are, deliver this list to Asha. Uh, you're not you, are. Where is she? What do you need? Excuse me. I'm an outrider of the Midnight Rangers. This is Rover. Gee, so he never sent a letter home? Not even once. The Midnight Rangers are no longer recruiting non-resonators lately. <laughs> but Julian was a stubborn boy. Last year, when the battles hadn't gotten so intense, he would trail us rear guards, eager to join the front line. Now we sent him back to the city time and time again, and he just kept finding ways to come back. <laughs> Event with the battle escalating, it's getting increasingly dangerous out here. I shouldn't keep him here any longer. I was just thinking about having the logistics team bring him back to the... Oh, now I remember. He should be currently on the floor above. Jinjo is the gateway to Huanlong, and the Desert Rock Highland is the gateway to Jinjo. A single breach could have... Dire consequences. Our defense must hold at all costs. The tacit discords are not humans. They don't do truces or ceasefires. For as long as they exist, this war will rage on endlessly. Supply is the lifeblood of our army, and I am tasked with keeping it flowing. But now we are facing a shortage. I saw you help arrange the wounded there. Your show lamb would need your help more than I do. Thank you, but I must remain to oversee vital military supplies. Sure. Please excuse me. I'll join you later. What? What are you doing? Oh. <laughs> Please excuse me. Thought that was a grenade. <laughs> Is this a mangosteen? Well, it's not a local fruit, so we can only get it through imports. But with the recent tacit discord outbreaks, we've had to prioritize bringing in the essentials. We'll get back to importing more of these after General Jian makes his triumphant return. Now, currently, there's only one waterway open from Port Gunchao in the south of the city. Now, the rear guards would regularly go there to escort goods. Hmm, what more do I know? The military rarely buys this fruit for rations due to its short shelf life. Plus, it, it looks too much like a grenade, and that could cause some issues. It's a type of old-fashioned explosive. The lament caused a global technological regression. While tacitite weapons were being developed, most people had limited knowledge of tacitite as an energy source. As a result, primitive products combining old and new technology emerged. The hand grenade was one of them. With the rapid growth of tacitite weapons, these crude explosives were eventually phased out in favor of more advanced weaponry.
Oh. Master Tian Xing, have you found the person you're looking for? Yes, I found Zhu Yan. We will return to the city with the logistics team. We will go find Mr. Zhang Ye to let him know he is safe. Zhu Yan is a man full of courage. Influenced by his veteran grandpa's tales, he longs to join the military and aid in humanity's battle against tacit discords. The journey with you has exposed me to immense suffering, but the battles on the front line must be even more brutal than what I've witnessed. Countless lives have been lost in this war. Master Rongfu once told me, the best sages gain enlightenment in the military. The mediocre sages gain enlightenment in the bustling cities. I do share some of Juyan's feelings. However, Juyan disagreed with the intense training and tests required to join the military. He saw no distinction between ordinary people and resonators, and believed he could contribute on the I too found what Zhuyan said was reasonable to an extent, and I couldn't change his mind with words. So, I tried to imagine what my masters would do. I didn't mean to beat him up for nothing. My masters taught me valuable lessons through sparring, and I gained important The shape changes, but not the forms. The more yes, I pretended to lose. After our fight, Zhuyan admitted he saw the gap between resonators and ordinary people. He see he realized how he was just trying to convince himself that he could make a difference. I heard you two still have other matters to attend to. It's my great pleasure to have met you. Running into Master Tian Xing was a one-off incident. If the Mangosteen indicates something about war, what is Madam Magistrate trying to convey? Have you thought of something? I think. So Madam Magistrate wants to tell us something about the Mangosteens. The Quartermaster said the Mangosteens are trying. <sighs> we haven't reached the front lines yet. But I can already smell the iron in the air. General! Fear no more. 
What's the matter? Are you all right? Oh, I was worried. You just stood there and gazed- It felt as if I was seeing through the eyes of a tacit discord. I think I saw what was happening in the Norfall Barrens. An imposing warrior wielding the power of a Qinglong. The Qinglong is the Midnight Ranger's emblem. It's also the symbol of General Tian. The leader of all Midnight Rangers, the front lines are not far from here. General Tien must be there, fighting alongside our soldiers to keep the tacit discords away. Hmm, it doesn't seem like a coincidence. We arrived near the battlefield right when General Tien was leading an attack against the tacit discord. Your vision. It might be what was happening on the battlefield not far away. The battle itself is a clear sign of an anomaly. The streams from the Norfolk Barrens feel more suffocating than ever. Over. Something on that battlefield must be connected to you. Though we have no idea what it is. But I didn't hear anything. Or sense any frequencies. Rover? According to Baja, the leaves showed residual fluctuations of tacit discords. Those fluctuations pointed to a certain set of coordinates. And that is... Teacher Village and the Central Plains. Oh, nice. As I make myself reflect on my goals and plans, those voices in the streams become clearer, and everything starts to make more sense. Rover, perhaps you can give it a try. Possibly.
speeding up. your brain. Tempest! And I'm going to end it here. Thank you everyone for watching this. I hope you have paid what the heck. It's great for over the second coming of Solaris. Okay. What tutorial on? history. Hmm. Alright. Bye bye everyone.